Okay, so I was asked a lovely question on um, working in a, perhaps working in an office and, um, and having to deal with group dynamics and perhaps being in environments with uh, employees or, or managers who may have a low vibration and being dragged into um, a lower vibration. So there, I mean, I had something, one of those, those situations for me are for transcending. Basically, you want to transcend those environments. So the way to do it, there's a few different things. And I know um, uh, already that the Gorsa Miracles and making all the people meaningless in there has been done, which is really, really good in the environment. Just to look around, you look at your manager for one second and say he's meaningless. Then you look at the table for a second and say, say he's meaningless. Look at the light for a second and say he's meaningless. So that that's very, very good. The other thing to do is... It's, I mean, the perils of those places being pulled into the attractor field, pulled into the energetic vibration, and getting into sync with the vibration. So the way to get over that is to transcend the group vibration, and that has to be that can be done uh, in a couple in quite a few ways. One is individually transcending each person within the within the environment, so that you transcend every single hook. That they have. The other thing is to work on transcending the group environment. So those are two 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 different aspects. So the first thing is, um, I think, a really good thing to do with the group environment is to regularly go to the observer. You know, if you had something like a little reminder on your phone or something, you know, every hour or whatever, or every half an hour, just to to witness. You see, because you might be pulled into the group vibration, so they might all be talking about football or something, and or gossiping, and you pull pull down into that vibration. So you can ask, what's observing this room, or what's observing the group the group dynamic, and go to the, the go to the observer of that, and then that will start to get you an awareness because something would be witnessing everything in the room, including the group energy. And that witnesser will start to take you out of the group dynamic. The things to do, being the witnesser of you and the group, being the witnesser of individuals that are triggering you within the group. Also, uh, doing the um, Course in Miracles ex uh, uh, lessons. So you can cancel beliefs or God did not create. So God did not create, uh, God did not create a... Uh, an angry boss, so he's not real, or I cancel my belief in an angry boss, I'm infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Depends what you, triggers you. If, if, if um, they're talking about alcohol all the time, you know, you, you can uh, go to the observer of that or do counseling beliefs. You can also do the other Course of Miracles lesson, just pray for a miracle and a shift in perception around all that, uh, and invite in grace to give you a different perspective on how to see them. Um, there was another comment earlier on the group which is useful from a 12-step perspective is just to pray uh, for the individual members and that can be very very powerful um, you know also um, because there is, a, there is a oneness so if you're starting to pray for them uh, that will start, they'll, they, on a certain level they'll spiritually get it even though they still might be acting out from their ego level but it will start to calm things down. The, the thing I really like as well which I do a lot uh, which I got from Hawkins was the anti-karma prayer um, and uh, he I remember uh, in one of his lectures I think he knocked his knee uh, he knocked his knee and then he checked with the kinesiologic muscle test um, uh, if he had done harm to other people's knees and it came out yes he had done harm to other people's needs. So, so you can pr I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who's, uh, who's created pain in other people's needs in this lifetime and past lifetimes. So let's say uh, the manager has been extremely controlling and aggressive, then I could, I could pray for forgiveness for the one in me who's been extremely controlling and aggressive uh, in, in, in work situations or other situations in this lifetime and past lifetimes. So you just you just take in on board that the things that are triggering you in the environment you've done to others 
Uh, and usually that's not always going to be the case, but probably over 90% of the time it will be the case. So you might as well, uh, unless you've got access to the, to the muscle test, so you can take it out, take it out through um, praying for a miracle seat, going to the observer. If there are feelings that you can feel out, if some, something triggers you, then uh, if you can sit with the feelings in the toilet or whatever. But I think, you know, for an emergency, I, I would use Hawkins' thymic thump, which is just thumping on your chest, going ha, 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 smiling and doing that. That will quickly reset all your acupuncture meridians in the body, uh, especially after a shock. You know, if someone says you're fired, don't like you any longer, probably useful to just go out into the corridor and give a quick thymic thump. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then return, because that would be probably quite traumatic. Um, so, those are the things. I mean, in terms of um, just generally, like, whatever it is, you know, is it the voice tone? Are people's voice tones, are, are there certain things that, statements that they're making? You know, that you can go to the observer or you can pray for a miracle to see the voice tone of your manager different. Does he have a horrible voice tone? Does he make funny facial expressions? You know, going to the witness of the facial expressions or praying for a miracle to see that differently or, or, or whatever. So there's different components because you, the, you have all the senses. Uh, so there's different components that can hook you in until you transcend them. You know, the voice tone, um, uh, their facial expressions, you know, the, um, the, the language they use. So if you take a note of that, and then if they've got particular things which they do on a regular basis, just take a note of what's hooking you in on a regular basis. And then, you know, I think the great thing when I was like trying to transcend my mother was um, just taking note, you know, like this thing, her voice tone. My mother's voice tone would, would trigger me, so I'd like work on that, you know, go to the observer of the voice tone, have the intention, the intention for transcendence is 100% that they can do whatever they want to do, it will have no effect. That, that, that is transcendence, you know, so you go for transcendence, you are, you, you, your, your aim is. Um, with, um, like, I, and like I go to a lot of spiritual groups, 12-step spiritual groups, and I found that within those groups, you Usually, if there's individuals within those groups that trigger you, you've got to transcend those individuals. And then what you find later on is you don't notice those individuals because they, they become meaningless. Whereas in the beginning, they have things that they do trigger you. So you, in that way, you can transcend, um, you can transcend the, the group. You also raise the consciousness of the group because everything they do or can say uh, you, you render as meaningless. Sometimes there can be heavy karmic things which seem to take a bit more work. But that's, um, that's what I do. And things like, um, also you probably do the transcendence work if they're asking you to go for events afterwards which you don't want to go to. Then you can do um, a lot of prayer, uh, praying for miracles, see it differently. But I think with those things, again, you know, um, uh, sometimes, you know, spiritual diplomacy or there are ways of getting out of things without, uh, without rocking the boat. Um, or if you're going there, leaving quick, quickly, you know, or I, I think it's okay to make uh, little white lies, you know, like, uh, oh, I can only come for 10 minutes because I've got an, an, an important appointment or it's, it's my nephew's birthday or, or whatever. And then, then, you know, but th that you just navigate those so you don't get sucked in. Okay.